Hey you guys, welcome back to another plan with me. You can see that from last week I added washi tape with little bats and spider webs just to make the Halloween stickers pop a little bit. And I did this big to-do list that I'm obsessed with right now. I was sort of a brain dump of all the stuff that I'm working on and I'll still be using that to-do list going into next week. And I did a quick meal plan on the back of this week. I start off and try to do the highlighter behind my goal for the week and I end up not really liking the yellow and I don't do anything about it in this video because you can barely see the yellow but eventually I cover it up with a blue green marker to make it be color coded for my production company slash household which I think applying to a job sort of goes goes into. This week I am using a sticker book from the Happy Planner. It is called Color Story, but it's not the old one. It's the newer one that has their girls in it. I first layer this sort of blue speckle. It's almost like paint splatter on the to-do list and the this week's priorities. I tried to put a full box on and it just doesn't really fit in the weekly spread very well. So I didn't want to put it on Monday, so I moved it over to Tuesday for now. And then I found a different sticker that says every moment matters and I liked how that looked more. I have to flip back through just to see which zone I'm on for Fly Lady. I barely ever even look at the website, so I just sort of refer back to my own planner supplies to see what I'm supposed to be cleaning this week. This week it is the kitchen and I believe office area or something like that, an extra room. I'm not sure. Zone 5 and 1. So I need to clean out the fridge, clean out the cat food area where they eat and wipe that all down and then the shelves that I keep my drinking glasses on have been getting little rings from just like dust settling and stuff like that so I want to wipe those down as well. My daily tasks I was going to color in each of the circles again but I decided to try out just highlighting all of them and see if I end up liking how it looks it might look a little too sloppy but I'm not sure it might be nice. Moving on to Monday, I put down this blue sticker. It's really hard to read, but it says, Life is so lovely. And there were a few stickers like this in this sticker book, maybe for a horizontal spread or something, the dashboard layout, something like that. And they fit pretty well in the box that I never know what to do with, the today's priorities section. So then I marked down my nannying for the day, which was 8.30 to 3.30. I was originally going to be nannying until 7.30, but they changed it right before I did the plan with me, so I was glad I didn't have to reinvent it. And I put this pretty Hello Today floral sticker at the start of the day. That day I had to wake up a little early because I wanted to make pumpkin balls for Lex. He had a day of work, and that's what he likes to bring with him to work, but I really wasn't feeling like making them the day before. So, just woke up a little early to do that. It's really simple. You just pour a bunch of ingredients in a bowl and turn them into balls, but I don't like how messy my hands get. It drives me crazy. And because I got off early this day, I decided to do some laundry and clean my room, which I was supposed to do last week, and it didn't really get done, and to film this plan with me. And then it just seemed like a little empty up top, so I added that feather sticker and I kind of like how it ended up. It makes it feel sort of whimsical. For the to-dos for the day, I wanted to outline a couple episodes of the second season of Friends for my podcast. I do that sometimes when the boys are taking a nap if I'm watching them. I also did the music edit of the first few episodes of our podcast, edited a plan with me, uploaded a plan with me, and the other stuff didn't actually end up happening that day, which is today, but... Moving on to Tuesday, I already have the one sticker, oh sorry, I forgot, I went back and labeled that my priority for the day was Friends with Benefits, the podcast, 
not that it really was, it was just sort of a miscellaneous day where everything was sort of a, a goal. My main goal on Tuesday though was much more specific. I found one online company that I want to apply to for sure for hopefully some more work from home editing, proofreading, developmental editing type work called Readsy. So I wanted to make sure I did my application for that. Then I layer this coffee time sticker over a heart. I don't really love the shapes that they have in this sticker book, but by layering them with different labels, I like them a lot more than just if it was a blank heart sticker. The coffee time, it's just to mark when I wake up, have a little bit of time to myself. That time to myself is turning more and more important every day. I really like having just the quiet in the morning at my apartment. And I wanted to do some yoga in the morning. I had this day off and wanted to do social media posts for the podcast when I'm starting to launch it. I wanted to apply to Readsy, do some crowd surf work from home, apply to some jobs on Indeed, and work on the script and book I am working on. So it was going to be a big day. I used this checklist, which I really love the design of these. Sometimes I wish they had more dots, but I just filled in more to-dos than there were dots, and it wasn't a big deal. And this lettering of to-do sticker, which I really like how that turned out. I didn't love how the sticker was looking that says what you seek is seeking you. I really liked the quote, but I was trying to dress it up a little. So I put these teal swirls coming off of it. And I think that did add a little bit to it that I liked. And Wednesday, I put in this coffee first sticker. I like to label my coffee in the morning more and more. At first, it just seemed unnecessary. And now it's sort of like... It's not just decoration, it's a ritual that I need to do, is just have my morning coffee and relax. I marked down my two nannying jobs for the day, which was 8.30 to 3.30 and 4.15 to 8.15, and then I put this half sticker of this design that I really like. I don't know if there's a specific name for it, but it's like a flower drawing almost. Moving on to Thursday, I didn't really like how my Tuesday and Wednesday was looking. It was a little too girly feeling, and I wasn't feeling girly this week, so I went with darker colors for this two-page spread, this beautiful starry background that says, find beauty in the small things, and then the start today sticker for my morning ritual, yoga, and then I worked two jobs on Thursday again, which is going to be 8.30 to 12.30, which actually they changed. It's now going to be until about 2 and 4.15 to 8.15. I use a page flag sticker that says, see beauty in everything to mark down the morning nannying and a circle that is teal that says today for the evening. And just to stick with the theme, I really loved the starry looking sticker. So I put this circle that says rise for my yoga. And I actually really like that. That sounds like such a, it's like a powerful way to wake up is to rise. It just, I don't know, it's a little cheesy, but I like how it sounds. It just sounds empowered and not like, it's like the quote, like every day wake up like you did it on purpose. I also found this full box sticker that I really liked and I was going to try to use the different colors as different to-do sections, but I thought it looked a little too busy for Friday, so instead I just put down another checklist that's really thin and wrote down my to-dos and I wanted to incorporate the color coding, so I just did little lines to mark which activities were which category. And then on Friday, I also nanny in the evening, so I used this, it's not even a half box, but this plans square that is purple. You'll see it in just a moment. And I found a planner girl sticker with coffee that she actually looks a lot like me. I have a sweater a lot like that, and I keep wearing my hair to the side like that, so she's actually very much me, and she looks tired and has coffee and that's what I tend to look like when I am taking care of kids. So I thought it looked perfect. 
I really like how these two pages ended up and for the goals for these days I wanted to do some writing. I didn't love how the yellow was looking. I need to try to find a different more orangey yellow that I can use. So I did white with green because I wanted to write on this day which we'll see if it'll happen now that I'm nannying later. It depends on if the boys are taking a nap or not and if the mom's around. And then on Saturday, my goal is to do crowd surf work, or sorry, that wasn't Saturday, on Friday, because I need to start finding another way to make income because my income is way too low for the month. For Sunday, I started writing down my to-dos, like yoga, doing my zone cleaning, things like that, before I was trying to um, color code it. So the blue or ones were going to be household items, the pink was going to be my YouTube. That's why I put it on Sunday, because Sunday's my YouTube day. Unfortunately, I filled it out, and then I remembered that I nanny on this day, which was a huge bummer to remember. I had plans to do some baking with my friends, and I had to cancel very disappointing but oh well i layered instead this full box that says today and has a florally background with a bullet journal type grid on it to label the day i was trying to take the sticker off but this sticker book the stickers do not come up well is what i'm learning i feel like other mambi sticker books the stickers come up more easily than this one and I think it ended up looking okay just layering it on top and just having the the other colors peeking through the back of it. I didn't want to cover it up completely and totally waste that sticker because I would really liked that sticker. So I was able to keep some of the detail of it that I liked. I also remembered that I have the movie Joker to go see that weekend. So I had forgotten about it. So I put this don't forget stop sign type sticker with a label and then I still have to do my YouTube that day so between those I'm going to do my budget with me plan with me and I think I'm going to do a video just talking about my budget my life and all of that just to update people because not everybody watches every budget with me and I want to just sort of brain dump where I'm at with my budget so I colored over the blue with my pink highlighter to mark down the YouTube and Saturday is my podcast recording day, so I put down the purple highlighter for that and wanted to let it dry for a second before marking that down. This wake up and be happy sticker I've been waiting to use for the whole spread because I really love it. I think it's so pretty how it has the floral out outlining the plant and everything. So I did that and then layered a to-do sticker over top of it, the one, two, three, four bar and decided to just try to write items in the smaller space instead of spreading it out I could have tried to put the to-do list on the other side but I thought this would be more interesting I want to do yoga my self-care hour and then I left it open for depending on if things get done or not this week what my other priorities for that day are going to be and then I put down a hello weekend banner that was on the same page This purple box that I add, it's a really dark purple. It actually had the corner cut out because it's for a monthly spread, but I just put this so good triangle in the corner and I think it looks super cute and wrote down 106 and that I wanted to record the ad and ad spot for the channel. Then flipping back, I decided I really, even though I loved what the sticker said, I didn't like how it was looking in the spread. It was a little too washed out and I'm trying to get less precious about my stickers. The whole point is I'm supposed to like how they look, but I always feel like if I used it, I don't want to waste it, so I need to like keep it where it was. No, I don't. Uh, instead, I put this floral sticker that says she designed a life she loved, which was also appropriate for my job application day. That is it for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.